Hey everybody, here I'm going to show you how you launch your model rocket. I'm going to be using an Estes Astron Outlaw and I am going to be launching it using a C65 engine which is the most powerful engine available for this rocket. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have to take the new engine and install it in the end cap. Make sure to install it with the hole out so you can put your igniter in it. Line it up. Should fit in there good and snug. Next thing you want to do is you want to take, I'm using here a bag of lint which I'm going to be using in place of the wadding, which you normally use to keep the heat of the engine from burning the parachute. So just stick some of that in there. And you need to take your parachute and fold it up. Slide in the shock cord and the parachute and the rest of the shock cord. Make sure it all gets in there. And then slide on the nose cone. Now it's ready to launch once we put in an igniter. So we go over here to the launch pad. Slide it on. And I need to get an igniter. slide the igniter into the hole. You have to make sure that the part on the end, which is the part that causes the heat to allow the rocket to fire, you have to make sure that is touching the propellant in the bottom of the rocket, in the bottom of the engine. Then you take one of your little plugs and making sure it's touching the propellant Stick it in there. Make sure it's in there good and tight. Slide it over the launch rod. Take your little wires and bend them outwards. Take little clips on your control and attach them one on each of the wires. Make sure they don't touch each other or the metal base deflector plate. And now it's ready to launch. Go back here. Here's your little controller. What you're going to do is you're going to stick in the key and put it push on it so that the little light comes on. Now it's ready to launch whenever you push the button. So, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Okay, so we did some wrong here. So we take the key out and go back over to the rocket and see what happened. You 
usually the thing that happens that causes a rocket not to fire is one of two things. Either the igniter itself is broken. See, my igniter is broken. Either that or it is not all the way in and touching the propellant. Those are the main two things that cause the rocket not to fire. So I need to go get a new igniter. Okay, I'm running out of igniters here, so I don't know if this one will work or not, but we'll give it a shot. Make sure to stick it all the way in without letting it fall out. Put in the little stopper. And we're ready to try again. Okay, let's try again. push on it, make sure the light comes on, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Now it fired cleanly. My fins came off. They came unglued and shot off during the ejection stage. So with some re-gluing and do that over again, everything I told you guys, and it'll be ready to fire again.